Okay, by the brother's cream. Okay. Hansel and Gretel is the story of two young children abandoned by their stepmother in the forest. The children who are lost in the forest stumble upon a chocolate and candy coated house. An old witch who lives in the house invites Hansel and Gretel in. So basically, ini adalah synopsis. Cerita Hansel and Gretel ini tentang apa? Okay, this is uh, the synopsis of the story. For those who never uh, heard or never read this story, so it's actually about a two young, uh, two young children. Okay, they were left in the forest, and then um, when they walk deeper and deeper, they stumble upon they found okay a chocolate and candy coated house, all right, and they started to eat it. Okay, an old witch who lives in the house invites Hansel and Gretel in. Okay, so next, okay, we start with vocabulary. Woodcutter, cottage, breadcrumbs, nap, house cars, hug, arguing, okay, macam berbalah pendapat lah, arguing, okay, firewood, witch, a chocolate and candy coated house, cage, right, idiom in this story, there are two idioms, first, heavy heart. Kalau dalam bahasa Melayu, hati yang berat. Okay, so it's a feeling of sadness or unhappiness. Uh, it's a feel. You are very sad or you are very unhappy. That means you are having a heavy heart. Okay, gobble down. To eat something very quickly or eagerly. Okay, eat fast. Okay, gobble down. Right, next. Uh, phrasal verb, stick out. Okay, macam tunjukkan keluar lah. Okay, stick out. Ataupun keluarkan sesuatu, menghulurkan sesuatu. It just means stick out. Okay. So, once upon a time, there lived a very poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children, Hansel and Gretel. So, this is the uh, okay, the characters. Okay. Some of the char- the main characters, I mean, not the main. Uh, yalah, antara pen- watak utama eh, antara. So, this four. The woodcutter, his wife, and his two children, Hansel and Gretel. Okay, they lived in a tiny cottage at the end of the village. One evening, Hansel and Gretel overheard their father and stepmother arguing. Uh, satu petang tu, Hansel and Gretel ni terdengar ayah dan ibu tiri. Stepmother is a ibu tiri. Okay, uh, berbalah. Okay, then. We don't have enough food to eat. Soon, we will all starve, said the stepmother. You're right, but I don't know what to do, the father answered. I have a plan, said the step- stepmother. We have to leave the children in the forest. This is the only way to save on food. Oh, kejamnya mak, mak tiri dia. Your ni kaga yang susah, so they don't have enough food. You want to Uh, makanan yang cukup So dia risau nanti uh, Satu masa nanti Dia orang akan kelaparan Staff Okay Akan kelaparan So Ayah dia kata Ya yeah, uh, Awak betul Tapi saya tak tahu Nak buat apa I don't know what to do Okay then Mak tiri dia ada plan Okay she said uh, We leave the children In the forest This is the only way To save the on food Maknanya dengan letakkan Anak-anak tu Dekat dalam hutan Jadi dapat jimat makanan Jadi hanya cukup makan Untuk dua orang sahaja Okay, finally, after much argument, the father reluctantly agreed. Jadi, dia terpaksa setuju. Walaupun dah berbala banyak kali dengan mak tiri kan, ayahnya ni pun rasa macam terpaksa sangat bersetuju. Hansel went to bed with a heavy heart. The next morning, Hansel and Gretel were taken to the forest. Hansel kept some breadcrumbs in his pocket. He dropped them along the way without his parents' knowledge. He hoped to find the way home. Okay, so breadcrumbs ni kan dia keluarkan sikit satu-satu. Jadi bila dia jalan ke depan je dia jatuhkan breadcrumb tu. Jatuh satu-satu. Alright, so nanti mungkin dia pada fikiran dia uh, bila dia dah ditinggalkan oleh mak opak dia nanti dia orang boleh patah balik ke belakang ikut breadcrumbs tu. Okay. 
Tapi dia lupa yang breadcrumbs ni adalah makanan kan. Jadi binatang mesti suka lagi-lagi burung. Okay, so, mungkin hmm, kan lost track. Okay, children, wait here. Your father and I are going to collect some firewood, said the stepmother. Hansel, however, knew that they will never return. Ha, dia tahulah walaupun mak dia cakap uh, Okay, mak tiri dia kata Tunggu sini ya anak-anak Saya dengan ayah awak ni nak pergi cari kayu api Kata dia kan So, tapi Hansel tahu dah Yang mana dia orang takkan dapat pulang balik Okay Scared and all alone Hansel and Gretel walked deeper into the forest They were cold, hungry and tired Suddenly They saw a beautiful but curious looking cottage. They ran to the cottage. To their surprise, it was made of chocolates, candies, cakes and sweets. Hungrily, they gobbled down chocolate bricks from the walls and the candy knob from the door. Ha, dia nampak satu pondok ni. Cottage ni macam pondok lah. Okay, pondok yang kecil. Alright, tapi pelik rupa dia. Curious looking. Rupanya pelik tapi cantik. Okay, so dia orang pergi situ, dia nampak ada coklat, candies, cake, sweets dekat, dekat setiap dinding ni. Okay, dekat setiap dinding dan bumbung uh, pondok tu. Jadi sebabkan terlampau lapar, dia tersadung, dia, ter, dia beria berlari ke situ kan. Jadi dia tersadung dekat pintu, so uh, apa, coklat tu jatuh okay, daripada dinding dan juga um, apa ni uh, gula-gula yang dekat candy knob ni adalah uh, pemulas pintu. Knob tu pulas pintu tu. Okay, yang awak nak masuk rumah tu kan, awak kena pulaskan. Ha, so, dia daripada, daripada gula juga. So, benda tu pun jatuh. Okay, sebab dia tersadung. All of sudden, the door cricket opened and an old lady appeared. Who is eating my house? Asked the lady. We are sorry, said Hansel and Gretel. Cackling, the old lady replied. Don't worry, help yourself to whatever you want. Then come inside for a nap, she said. Ah, tiba-tiba uh, pintu tu berkeriuk buka kreak, buka macam tu kan so an old lady appeared ada orang tua keluar so dia tanya siapa makan rumah aku ni so Hansel and Gretel said sorry lah okay. jadi orang oh, tapi dia tak marah pun dia kata tak apa it's okay don't worry uh, makanlah apa yang kamu nak okay. dan kata masuk dalam dan um, dan lelap sekejap uh, okay. nap tu lelap sekejap Hansel and Gretel ate as much as they could and then went into the house. They were very tired and soon fell asleep. The next day, the old lady put Hansel in a cage and forced Gretel to do the house chores. Poor kan kesian Hansel. Okay, Hansel and Gretel soon realized she was actually a witch. La, rupa-rupanya dia ni ahli sihir. Okay, every day the witch fed Hansel lots of food. She wanted to make him fat as she planned to eat him. Ah, bagi makan banyak, bagi 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 supaya nanti Hansel tu gemuk dan dia boleh makan budak tu. Bau dah kenyang kan? Okay, every morning she said, Hansel, stick out your finger. I want to see how fat you are today. Hansel knew she had poor outside. Okay, so he would stick out a chicken bone instead. Uh, Hansel ni bijak. Setiap pagi, ahli sihir ni kata, tunjukkan jari awak. Dia ni, uh, mata dia tak berapa nak nampak. Mungkin rabun lah kan. Okay, problem, poor eyesight. Okay. Jadi Hansel tipu dia Hansel keluarkan tulang ayam Tulang ayam kan halus je kan Jadi uh, dia keluarkan Dia lun- tunjul uh, apa Macam tu lah stick out tu Macam uh, dia jolok keluar okay, Tulang ayam jadi bila witch tu pegang Kurus lagi budak ni Jadi dia bagi lagi makan bagi lagi makan. Alright Why aren't you getting fat Hansel Oh I have to fat you more Said the witch Finally, the day came when the witch would wait no longer. Kenapa awak tak gemuk-gemuk ni, Hansel? Mampaknya saya kena bagi awak makan banyak. Macam tu dia cakap tadi, kan? So, tapi sampailah satu ketika ahli sihir ni dah tak tahan dah. Tak boleh nak tunggu dah. I will not wait any longer. Gretel, go and start the fire. I am going to cook, Hansel, shouted the evil witch. Have you started the fire? The witch shouted impatiently. I... I I can't get it started, Gretel stuttered. Move aside, the witch shouted. 
ha, Jadi dia sebabkan dia tak boleh tunggu So dia arahkan Greta Hidupkan api Aku nak masak Hansel di jerit Okay lepas tu sambil-sambil tu Hansel takut-takut kan So witch tu tanya kau dah nyalakan api ke belum Lepas tu Hansel pun kata Saya tak pandai Saya tak tak boleh buat dia Saya tak boleh hidupkan api Tukar tepi Kata kan Okay this was the moment Gretel had been waiting for The moment she could save her brother As the witch moved closer to the oven Gretel gathered all her strength and pushed her The witch fell into the oven I did it! I did it! Screamed Gretel with great excitement Ah, uh, Rupa-rupanya Gretel ni hanya berlakon je yang tak ada hidup api Okay so bila, bila datang masa yang sesuai Gretel Kumpulkan segala kekuatan dia Yelah witch ni mesti lah lagi besar pada budak kan Jadi dia tolak witch tu ke dalam oven Okay so Masuklah ahli sihir tu dalam oven Seronok sangat Okay She rushed to the cage and freed Hansel Hansel hugged his sister He was proud of her She was his hero Okay jadi dia pun lepaskanlah Hansel Perpelukan adik-beradik Okay Then Hansel grabbed his sister's hand and they ran towards the door. As they were running out, they stumbled upon a room full of treasure. They Ah, uh, masa dia dah lari keluar tu, dekat kat arah pintu tu, dia orang terserempak dengan sebuah satu bilik. Okey, bilik yang penuh dengan harta, treasure. Uh, mereka dot dot dot. Alright. So this is all the story about Okay.